Hi Aloha family, today we're going to be building a fire. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your wood cookie, which is so important to camp, inside of your shirt or behind you so that we don't start any accidental fires. The next thing you're going to do is make sure that all of your hair is tied up and you have closed toed shoes on. Forgot that part before. So what I'm going to show you now is the three different types of fuel that we're going to need to start our fire. So the first one is obviously wood, which we have abundance of at camp. The next is our tinder, which is medium sized sticks. And this is good for helping our fire sustain throughout the time that we want it lit. And this one, these are kindling sticks. So these are our smallest type of fuel that we'll use to help the fire start. And then this is what we'll add to the fire as it goes to make sure that it doesn't go out until we want it to. All right. So I'm gonna show you two different types of formations that we can use to build a fire. The first one I have already going is a log cabin. This formation is good. And then if you have more wood that you wanna use, you can build it on top um, and make it as big as you want. The next one is our favorite, the Aloha A. So with that one, you're gonna make an A-frame. Then you're gonna put a log across like that and you're gonna build your fire inside of here. But today I'm gonna to do a log cabin because it's my favorite and it's really fun to make. So I'm gonna do that like that. Make sure that your parallel logs are on the same plane so that they can burn correctly. So once that's done, I'm gonna grab my tinder and I'm gonna start Sticking some sticks into my pit, like so. Then I'm going to put some across the fire like this, so that once they're lit, they will help my logs lit light as well. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to take our kindling and we're going to add that into some of the space that's left over. And the most important part about a fire is making sure that there's space for breathing and air so that it can keep going because air is very important to a fire as well. And then at the end, if you're in the wilderness, you're definitely gonna want to have some birch bark because birch bark is really important um, for when it's wet outside. Um, so you can put birch bark throughout your fire and then you can light it pretty easily. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how you build a fire and now you can light it and enjoy some beautiful s'mores or just enjoy some great time with your families. I miss you all and I hope you're doing really well this summer and we'll see you in 2021.